What's going on guys, my name is Jack, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best video editing app for Android 2018. Yes, I did a video the other week that did great. Uh, loads of people were saying that it helped them out. Um, basically this exact same topic, but for the iOS kind of version of this topic, right? Loads of you guys liked it, loads of you guys found it helpful. I figured, boom, my audience is probably split halfway down the middle, half people are on iOS, half people are using Android. So boom, here is the kind of second part to that last video that kind of all, all the Android users can actually enjoy and uh, find helpful as well. But yes, without further ado, we're gonna jump into the best video editing app for Android 2018. There's gonna be kind of a recurring topic here, which is that most video editing apps are just bad. They're 100% they're, they're just not even half of what the video editors on the Macs or PCs are, and they really just don't quite make the cut. However, these two featured in this video are probably going to be the closest to the experience you would have on the computer if you really have to stick to editing on your phone, which personally I would suggest you just go into the computer, but like I said, if there's some sort of scenario where you just can't use a computer, you don't have access, but you do have access to your phone, you really wanna make some stuff, boom, this video will definitely help you out. Now, um, before we do jump into the main two, I'll shout out two others that nearly made the cut but aren't that good enough. Uh, first off is Premiere Pro Clip. Premiere Pro Clip is okay, definitely not a bad editor by, by, by any kind of uh, means of the word. Um, however, I definitely kind of would, ex would have expected more from Adobe, right? Obviously, this is Adobe's um, video editing app. Considering how good the Adobe programs are and the Adobe programs are probably the leaders in the kind of uh, computer side of video editing stuff, right? Um, considering how good their computer um, apps are for Mac and, uh, and, and, and Windows, you would have thought that their iOS app would be a little bit better. By all means, if you think it's the shit, tell me in the comment section below. Personally, I'm not too sure if it's that good. I know it's not that advanced, which is kind of the thing I don't really understand. Premiere could have come through easily and just swept the, uh, the, the app video editing community and kind of uh, made a really good thing. But Premiere Pro Clip, okay, just not very advanced. Same likewise with Cute Clip. Cute Clip also okay, people use it, not very advanced at all. But boom, those are a couple of the, uh, the less advanced ones. Now let's jump to the ones that I actually think you should be getting. Okay, so number one. Um, number one, I'd have to say, is Cyberlink Power Director. Cyberlink Power Director not only is uh, super advanced, but it is amazingly easy to learn. It is definitely the one I would suggest to anybody who's a beginner to video editing. If you're not a beginner, definitely uh, stay tuned to the next app I'm gonna talk about, but Cyberlink, Power Director 100% takes the cake for the easiest and also the most advanced of the easiest Android editing apps. Super easy to uh, cut, to add effects, to add music, sound effects, all sorts of different stuff. Very, very in-depth frame-by-frame video editing, which is really good, which believe it or not, frame-by-frame -frame editing obviously isn't some crazy advanced like wild thing, but honestly on the uh, on video editing apps, frame by frame editing is an advanced thing, believe it or not, right? The computer, that's something you take for granted, but some of these video editing apps, um, you know what I mean, they're, they're just cutting uh, to certain points, or snapping rather, you know what I mean, where you can't get it precisely where you wanna chop, it has different snap points, various different annoying things like that where you kind of just makes the user feel they don't really have too much control over their project or really don't have kind of full control over it. Um, and overall, I definitely feel uh, Cyberlink Power Director has a good amount of control over their edit. Then, once you do complete your edit, of course, you can actually export straight to social media or um, save to your gallery. Of course, very, very good, very simple stuff, to be honest. Uh, nothing crazy special there. But the thing that really makes Cyberlink stand out from the other competitors, why, honestly, uh, Premiere Pro and Clip weren't in there, is because Cyberlink Power Director has multiple layers. That's actually a big deal in the uh, kind of mobile video editing community, right? Most of these video editors are very basic. They just have loads of different presets and you put one clip in there and maybe you could add some cool filters to it, stuff like that. Definitely not intricate like an actual computer editor. There's not different layers. You can't really make it seem like a more in-depth edit. Whereas Cyberlink Power Director, you definitely can. Um, however, you're only limited to two layers, which is kind of still pretty limited. Um, 
and that's actually definitely what makes the next video editor stand out even more but it's still a big thing though to have two layers like even though it doesn't seem like too much because all the other video editors really don't even offer even two layers just one layer which is you know how do you even really go about editing one layer you know all you could really do is do various different color things and stuff like that Starlink Power Director does have some cool coloring options though and uh, various different cool stuff like that um, the free version is watermarked um, kind of that's annoying right but the kind of cool thing I guess or it doesn't make it too bad that the paid version is only a fiver and you get a bunch of extra features when you actually decide to upgrade so that's kind of Cyberlink Power Director in a nutshell. Good, good video editor, especially um, stands out compared to the other more basic ones. However, the next video editor is hands down still maintaining, at least in my mind, the reputation for the best uh, Android video editor and also just the best mobile video editor. Some people don't agree with me, maybe you don't, but in my experience, it is absolutely amazing. It's so user friendly, you understand it. It's not as easy to pick up as Cyberlink is, but definitely the number one spot for me 100% goes to Kine Master. The best of its kind across all platforms. I've made another video solely on this app as the best video editing app in general. So Kine Master, um, honestly, for me personally, nothing really comes close to this. It is for me at least, and in my experience, the closest simulation uh, or the closest experience you can get on the mobile platforms to actually video editing that you would uh, kind of normally get on a computer. Extremely simpler, uh, extremely simple rather, simpler, what the fuck. Um, <laughs> and uh, the, the, the main thing that really makes this, in my opinion, the best mobile video editor is the fact that you, you can have multiple layers. I think you can have like five or six or something like that. Loads of different layers, ex exactly like a regular computer video editor would. Absolutely amazing. The layers is pretty much the biggest thing that gives you so much playability. You can obviously uh, put little stickers in there, little graphics, loads of different stuff. I honestly think you might even be able to animate stuff around a little bit. So many different layers, so much room for playability. You can actually add multiple soundtracks, sound effects, uh, you know what I mean, music, all that sort of stuff. Um, I do believe you have to get all that stuff yourself onto the phone, but then once you've got it on the phone, you can, of course, just add stuff in super easy. Um, not as easy to learn as Cyberlink Power Director. I honestly think Cyberlink Power Director, even if you've never video edited before in your life, you could pick it up and have a good, good try at it, you know what I mean? Within like 10, 15 minutes of playing around, you'd probably understand it. Whereas um, Kind Master, if you've never video edited before, you may get a little bit confused simply because there's so many different layers and stuff like that that you can mess around with. You might not really understand it. It might take a little bit longer. Also, it's kind of weird, Kind Master is, with the payments, um, or it's not kind of weird. I, I guess it's just a little bit um, a little bit more type of thing. It's kind of a, on a prescription basis, right? Or a subscription basis, not prescription, what the fuck? Um, you can get the free version. It's watermarked, just standard. Everything's watermarked if it's free. But if you want it, uh, if you want the actual full version, which uh, I do, do believe comes with more features as well, you get, uh, you could pay $5 a month and that's a subscription, or you could do uh, $40 for the year. So you get a yearly subscription for $40, whereas they are clearly passionate in Kind Master um, and they clearly know it's probably the best of its kind. I 100% think it's the best of its kind. Uh, so, you know what I mean? They're making you pay a little bit more for it. It's understandable, trust me, uh, it is worth it, definitely, especially if you can't edit on the computer because this Time Master app is the closest to the computer experience that you're really gonna get in terms of video editing. But overall, this has been the best video editing apps for Android 2018. If you disagree with me, tell me down below because I saw some people disagree with me um, on the iOS video. Fair play, clearly you've uh, used some different apps, stuff like that. Fair play, you know what I mean? That's what the comment section's for. Call me out if you think I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but overall, I'm about for it. Kind Master, best video editing app for Android. Cyberlink Power Director, also good, but uh, definitely not as good as Kind Master. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'm a Jack Rich Jack Cole. I upload video production themed videos on my channel every single day, or at least I try to. I am on a roll currently, and I'm gonna try not to stop. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and goodbye.